Praise the Lord, everyone. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, Red Oak Baptist Church. I pray all is well. I pray all is well with all of you out there on Facebook Live and YouTube. We just give God all praises this morning. We are so grateful to be in the house of the Lord. We come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord yes. and Savior. I just like to encourage all of you in our congregation this morning to be positive people, positive Christians. Just be positive, or be a positive person. My topic for this morning will be, be a positive person. Be a positive person. And we will be coming from the book of Philippians. We'll be coming from 1 through 5. The book of Philippians 1 through 5. So we just want to thank God for all you have done to support this church. We thank you for all your tithes and offerings. At this time, we're going to allow uh, Allie, Reverend Allen Jones. And thank God for the choir. And thank God for you, uh, uh, Reverend Allen Jones. We ask you to bless the tithes and offering for this morning. Amen. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus to say thank you for the offering, the tithe, and all that has been bought into the storehouse. Father, we ask that you multiply that it be for the building of thine kingdom. In the precious name of Jesus, we do pray. In the church, of amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Allen Jones. Our scripture reading is started from verse 1 this, mo this morning from Philippians 1 through 5. We just want to thank God for all of you. You have truly been a blessing to us, and thank you for blessing this church. Yes, now, the Word of God says in Philippians uh, chapter, uh, chapter 2, starting at verse 1, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any vows of mercy, fully ye fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, one mind. Let nothing, let nothing be done through strife of vain glory, but in lowness of mind. Let each esteem a, 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 another better than themselves. Look not every man on his own thing, 
but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for another opportunity that we can call on your holy and righteous name. Father God, you watched over all of us all night long. And early this morning, you touched us with a finger of love. And Father, we thank you for that. You gave us the activity, activity of our limbs, and, and you set us down in our breakfast table, and Lord, and you allowed us to see our families. For that, we say thank you, and then you appointed us to this appointed place. Father God, be with me. Fill me with your spirit. Prop me up on every leaning side. Build me up where I'm torn down. Heavenly Father, I be careful to give you all praise. Bless this congregation, those on Facebook Live and those on YouTube and all of you are in this audience. We pray a blessing upon you. We ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This morning, we're talking about being a positive person, uh -huh. a positive person. So I, I like to encourage you, each of you, to be a positive Christian. Uh -huh. I want you to know that we, uh, we all profess to be Christians and believers of Jesus Christ. If so, we should have a Christ-like attitude. We should have a Christ-like like attitude and if we have that christ-like attitude to we showing gratitude to our lord and our savior if not there will be uh, uh if not we have gone astray as christians and we don't want to go astray we want to stay connected to god we should be there to uh to be that peace in a puzzle that we can bring everybody saved and unsaved, uh, that we can bring everyone together. But the unsaved need to know that uh, uh, that we are saved by our attitude, how we conduct ourselves. Are we a positive person? Are we a negative person? We need to make sure that they can see the Christ in us. That's why I say again, having a Christ-like attitude. Having that Christ-like attitude. So to be a positive person, that means that you, you feel good about yourself. You, you, you feel good knowing that who you are, and you know that Jesus Christ is your Lord. He's your Savior. So with that, i just like to invite, uh, let you know that in this world, in the environment of this world, and the people and the attitudes of the people in the world, we should be able to stand out. It should be like a light shining on us with that positive attitude, with that being that positive person. We should let them know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, yeah. not by not what we say, yeah. but what we do and how we do it, how we walk, how we talk, how we even greet each other, maybe in a grocery store or at school or at work. People should see that Christ-like attitude in us. Even though the world is evil and, and, and people in the world are acting evil and being strange and doing things that's not of God, we still should show that Christ-like yeah. attitude. Yeah. I want you to know that God has commissioned us. Remember, remember, God has commissioned all of us, not just the pastor, not just the ministers or the teachers, but he uh, 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 recommended that uh, uh, we all, all of us, yes, all of us, to be uh, uh, commission us to be uh, 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 to be able to preach, teach, baptize in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Think positive thoughts. Whatsoever thing of a good report, think on these things. Philippians four eight. Philippians 4, 8, it just encourages us, uh, Reverend Jones, encourages us to think on these things. It says, whatsoever things are good report, think on these things. Some Christians fail to discipline their thinking. Some of us, some Christians and preachers, whoever we may be, we fail to discipline our thinking. Yeah. We should discipline ourselves no matter where we are. We should be able to self-discipline ourselves without anybody bringing it to 
our attention. So we need to make sure that we uh, we have that. Uh, not don't have uh, don't let negativity dictate uh, your mind, dictate your thinking, dictate your actions, or domin uh, dominate your mind. Christians must take the uh, uh, to take deliberate action. We need to take deliberate action, replacing negative thoughts with positive thoughts, and keeping and keeping uh, that positive outlook no matter where we go. Keeping a positive outlook. Now, I'm telling you, sometimes it gets a little hard. It gets a little hard, even as Christians. But I'm encouraging you in the world which we live today to be a, uh, have that Christ-like attitude. Be that positive person, uh, even though it might be hard sometimes. But we must discipline ourselves. And self-discipline is something that we need to practice each and every day. I believe that within my own heart and mind. Listen to this. Hear positive sounds. What are you listening to? Hear positive sounds. We can listen to anything we want to. And, and like the old uh, eyes of Brother Toon say, uh, it's my thing. I can do what I want to do. But when you become a Christian, you can't do what you want to uh -huh. do. You have to follow the orders of God. So uh -huh. what are you listening to? Yes, Not only what are you listening to, who are you listening to? Who are you listening to? Are you listening to the word of God? Are you allowing people to take you away and take you out of that Christian environment? Because you want to be a crowd pleaser. So be careful what you're listening to. No matter where we are, we need to hear positive sounds. Positive sounds. And it will reveal in the ears uh, of the Lord. Uh, reveal in my ears by the Lord. And, then, and I want you to know many people are listening to filth, smit, smut, and, and all kind of destructive things that come across the airways. We're listening to everything, but you have a choice. You have a choice. No, as a pastor, I can't tell you what you listen to or who to listen to, but I can encourage you to listen to God because negativity and things that's not of God is going to have an effect on you one day. You will suffer the consequences yes, of the things that you do and the things that you listen to and your thoughts, your ways, and your actions. So I want you to have an optimistic outlook on life. Please replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts and keep that optimistic attitude. And you will have, uh, uh, you will see God working in your life, not only in your life, but in the life of others that you surround yourself with. Now, they might call you all, all kind of things but the child of God. They might call you a Bible thumper. That's fine. That's fine. Let them call you whatever they want to call you. But you know, most importantly, we all need to make sure, make sure that we are staying focused and that we're disciplining our minds to be a positive Christian. Okay, a positive person, a positive deacon, wherever you are, you need to make sure that you are being that positive person. Isaiah twenty two fourteen says, and it was revealed in my eye, in my ears by the Lord. Isaiah twenty two fourteen. Isaiah twenty two fourteen. It was revealed in my ears by the Lord. What we need to listen to more gospel music. Oh, I mean, real gospel Amen. music, real gospel Amen. music. We must listen to the to the words of the pastor, not just the pastor, but the scriptures that he's given you. Are you reading those scriptures? Are you taking those scriptures and you're applying them to your everyday life? So we need to make sure that we follow the scriptures that's been given to us each and every Sunday. Many people, uh, I want you to know that positive sights, positive, what are you looking at? What, what are you looking at? What, what, you have a desire to see. What, what are you looking at? We need to make sure that we see beautiful things and good things. Nothing that's going to entice us to become what the world would have us to be. Yeah. We shouldn't be enticed or, or lured in. Yes, We're not a fish wow. that, we can be, that you can cast out a lure and be lured in. Be lured in by money. Be lured in by what, uh, politics, whatever it may be. But we must make sure that we see positive sights. Uh -huh. See things that, that's going to be uh, help you in your walk in Christ. 
help you with your walk in Christ. Listen to this. When we look, let's look and look at what uh, uh, Hebrews 12, 2 says. Hebrews 12, 2 says, look to Jesus. Uh -huh. Look to Jesus, the author uh -huh. and finisher well, of your faith. Well, well. Look to Jesus. What are you looking at? Look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Uh -huh. Where's your faith this morning? Yeah. Do you have faith that God is going to take care of you? Well, Are you looking uh, at things in the world that's causing you to fall short of God's glory? Just like you sung a minute ago. Uh, we come this far by grace. We come this far by God's grace. Well, so our faith should be in the Lord. When you see him, we says, there's nothing as beautiful as the word of God. Look to Jesus to often finish of your faith. Jesus Christ look. Jesus Christ look for the bad. Uh, Jesus Christ look for the bad, and uh, Jesus Christ do not look at the bad in people and the circumstances. Seeing only uh, your faults and negative. See, Jesus, he can look beyond our faults. He looked beyond my fault. He looked beyond your faults. He looked beyond all of them. But he took care of our need. But we need. That's enough to say. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, because we was all a wretch undone. We was all a wretch undone. But it was by the blood of Jesus Christ that sustained us, that delivered us, that brought us to the point where we can declare that Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Savior. How many of you know him to be a Savior this morning? How many of you have been saved by God's grace? Do you acknowledge him as being your Savior? Now listen to this. I want you to know that, that we have to keep our eyes on God. Keep our eyes on God. To be a positive person, one must look for the good. One must look for the good and look to Jesus because he is good. He's great. He's, he's, he's almighty. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. Talking yet uh, uh, about the wonders of God's word. Let's, let's encourage each other and talk about the wonders of God's word. God, let's, let's tell them, let's give them a testimony how I once was down and, and how God just scooped down and, and, and picked me up and, and turned my life around. Amen. Let's tell them that, yes, we ran the streets, but it was something about that man named Jesus. Let's tell them I was a wreck undone, but, but by the grace of God, he brought me into this, into this place. Let's let them know that we didn't save ourselves, but it was a savior. But you got to hear and speak and, and, and look at positive things in this world today. Yes, I want you to know uh, 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 that God is an awesome God. Uh -huh. God has put so many wonderful and positive words in the Bible to encourage us. God has put so many wonderful and positive words in the Bible yeah. to encourage us yes. to be what he would have us to be. Only if we take the time to pick up the Bible, the, the Holy Bible, yeah. and read that Bible, yeah. there's something in there that would encourage you yeah. when you're discouraged. Yeah. There's something in there that will pick you up when you're down and out. There's something in there that will help you and it'll build a bridge over, right. over the troubled waters that you might be dealing with. Yes, God is an awesome God. I want you to look at Psalms uh, 105 2. Psalms 105 2. Take ye uh, all the wonderful words. Take ye all the wonderful words God has put in the Bible. And I want you to know that the, these beautiful stories and beautiful testimonies that's been put in the Bible is for your good and for your sake. So I'm asking you today, please be a positive person. Uh, God has given all of us an opportunity to experience life. So let's make sure we experience the good things of life. And I'm asking you this morning to make sure that you talk and you speak and you walk and you look in a positive way. And I want you to know that, that God has a light on you. God has a light on you. Yes, well, uh, many uh, uh, of us uh, 
uh, talk more about the evil things of this world and thinking about uh, instead of glorifying God and giving God all the praise. But it is by his grace and his mercy. As Christians, somebody should have something good to say sometime. As Christians, somebody, some of us need to have something good to say sometime. But when I think about the goodness of my Lord, when I think about how he has set me free, when I think about when it, when they when the scripture said I was glad when they said it unto me uh -huh. let us go into the house of the Lord yeah. when well, you can find it in Psalms uh, 122 1 I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord yes I don't know uh, 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 about you all today uh, I, I don't let things in I don't I'm not easily influenced no more because when I walked into the house of the Lord and when I gave God my uh, I'm, I'm a witness for Christ and I told I, I cried out said Lord save me I know then that I was glad when I went into the house of the Lord so the church should be a place where we can gather together and to encourage each other to become positive people. I'm so glad today that I have a Lord yeah. that I can call on early in the morning, late at night, wherever, whenever I'm going through storms. You have that same Lord. You have that same Savior that you can call on early in the morning, late at night. When you have crazy thoughts that come in your mind, you can say, Lord, remove those thoughts. When you're looking at something you shouldn't be looking at, you can ask God to take that away from you when you're trying to taste things that you shouldn't be tasting. You can ask God to take that away from you because you should be glad. Everybody should be glad when they can walk into the house of the Lord. We shouldn't come into the house of the Lord complaining and fussing and pointing out people and calling out people. We should come into church just looking back over our lives and seeing how good God's been to us. We should come into the church with a praise. Don't bring nothing negative. Bring something positive because God God is an awesome God. He has blessed you. He has brought you a mighty, mighty, and mighty, and mighty long way. Look around yourself. Look at your community. Look where you used to be. And you'll see that God is an awesome God. Give God praise for everything, everything he has done for you. Oh, give God the praise. Give God the praise. Thank God for everything you have done. When I look back all over my life, and I can see where God brought me from, I'm praising him right now. So I have to have positive thoughts. So I'm just so happy to be here with you all this morning to encourage you. For the Bible says, it says therefore, uh, in verse 1 of, of this chapter of Philippians, say, if therefore, if any, uh, any be uh, therefore uh, in consolation in Christ, uh, if any comfort of love, uh, if any fellowship of the Spirit, of any bowels of mercy. Uh -huh. I just want you to know that we can call on God. Yeah. So Paul is telling us, therefore, uh -huh. be therefore, yeah. uh, if any consolation in Christ, yeah. any comfort yeah. of love, any, if any fellowship yeah. of the Spirit. Uh -huh. I just want you to know today that you can give, you can give it to God. Yeah. He said for us to be full, ye there of the joy. Be full of the joy. Like-minded, having the same love, being on one accord, being with one mind as Christian brothers and sisters in this, in, in this beautiful world which we live. Only we can have the mind of Jesus Christ. Then the world would be a better place. And I like verse 3. I like verse 3 in this uh, very same chapter. It says, let therefore uh, uh, nothing be done uh, through strife, uh, vain glory, but the lowness of the mind. Let each esteem another better than themselves. If I can look around and if I can see the good in you and what God has done, let me forget about myself. Let me concentrate on God. Let me let you know, encourage you that God will make a way. Look at what Paul is telling us. He's encouraging us to do just that. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited yes. this morning to be here for you. But I just also want to go by the cross for a second. Because if it wasn't for our Lord and our Savior, if it wasn't for Jesus Christ dying on old rugged cross, they tried to find fault in him. You know, we got a we have a lot of fault finders in the church, and 
We have a lot of fault finders around the world. Everybody's trying to find fault in each other. But the Bible tells us, let each of us esteem one better than ourselves. But we're always trying to find fault. And, and Jesus was here to do one thing. They experienced all the things that he had done. They seen him, Alan Jones, Reverend Jones, that he opened blind eyes. Yes, they saw him when he made the lame walk in. They saw him healing. And they saw Jesus uh, demonstrating love. Even though they were trying to kill him and lied on him. But Jesus still had a purpose in mind that was you and I. He knew that he had to die for our sins. He hadn't committed no sin. He was a man without sin. But he, he was bruised for our iniquities. Yes, but we just, we need to know that, that, that we have to praise him because of who he is. And not what he can do for us, but for who he is. I want to encourage all of you this morning to just think about what the Lord done for us. Forget about yourself and let's concentrate on him right now. Let's concentrate on when they walked him up that old, old rugged hill. When they walked him up a God Arthur's hill. When he had that cross on his back. Yeah. He did that for you and I. When they, they whipped him. and It was just, uh, just ripping the flesh off of him. And when blood was, uh, they was, he was beaten to a bloody mess. But because of you and I. Being they, they had enough nerve to put nails in his hand and, and they, uh, they stuck him in his side and put nails in his feet and put a throne of crowns on his head and they put a robe on his back and, and they made fun of him. They humiliated him for you and I. Think about him now. Let's forget about ourselves. Let's concentrate on him right now. All these things that he did, it was for you and I. It was to give us the freedom and the liberality to do what he would have us to do. Yes, we had a freedom to, to live, but we also should be praising him for life. And then when they put him on that cross to crucify him, when they put him on the cross, that uh, uh, there was two men there. One on the right and the other on the left said, one challenged him like some of us are challenging him today. Yeah. If you be the king, if you be God, and won't you save us and save yourself? But there was nothing that believed. See, we got non-believers and believers here. We got negative people, we have positive people. We got non-believers and we have believers. But the other one said, he said, would you remember die me? Would you remember die me? Would you remember me? Would you remember me when you go into your kingdom? And then they said, my Lord, your Lord, he hung his head and then he died. Say midday turned to midnight. The sky turned black in the middle of the day. And then the veil split. Now the veil split. Now they give us access to Jesus. We don't have to call on a priest no more. We can go to Jesus just as we are. We can become to ask Jesus to come into our hearts. As Romans 10, 9 says, If I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, I shall be saved. But the only good thing, the greatest thing about that. When they put him in a tomb, they thought they, he was going to be there. Oh, when they put him in a tomb, they thought it was all over. But early Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, Jesus Christ got up with all power in his head. Saving power, delivering power. He got up with power to help us, to deliver us so we can confess our sins. Thank you. God bless all of you. We just thank you for your love and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Facebook Live, and thank you, YouTube, and thank all of you here in the audience that's listening to us. Thank you, Red Oak Baptist Church, for just digging into the scriptures and, and asking God to help you become a better person. We should all be better than we were yesterday. We should all be better than we were last year, a uh, year after that. Each and every day, we should grow closer to Christ. And when we get closer to him, then we can have that positive attitude that we are talking about here today. So we give God all praises. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, we come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We come asking you to be with us, lead God, and direct all of us, oh Lord God. Heavenly Father, we all stand in the need of a Savior. Father God, we need to be delivered, Father God, from whatever will uh, uh, uh we have been enslaved to whatever that has us bound and chained father god we are praying that you deliver us deliver us 
deliver our minds. Father God, deliver our young people. Oh, Lord God, they all need you. Father God, for all the ones that have gone astray, has, has gone their own way. Father God, we are praying and asking, oh, Lord God, that you deliver them. And help all of us Christians to be positive people that we can share with them and not be ashamed to share our testimonies with them to let them know that it wasn't it wasn't we 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 didn't do this ourselves it was you it was you father god it was you so we thank you for all you have done thank you for this service thank you for this choir thank you most of all for your darling son jesus christ who died for our sins we ask it all in the mighty name of jesus christ our lord we do pray Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.